and welcome back to the third part of this tutorial so let's exit out and start work with getting the guns to fire so I'm going to right click in here and let's select scripts and I'll change the name of that to gun now select gun and click on open let's declare the following variables that we're going to use so right up here the very first one I'm going to call that public that will be float and this float I'm going to call it enemy enemy down or enemy destroy destroy or something like that and that is going to be let's say it's going to be 12 now the radius so the radius I'm gonna make that about 150 make that about 150 that's going to be a float as well radius that is going to be 150 F so if the enemy is within that radius yes we can take the enemy down then the next thing is I'm going to create another public variable for the camera and I'm just going to call that camera focus there we go and let's create more public variable uh, this one is going to be this figure that would be to the enemy anyway then another public variable that's going to be called damage force as the amount of damage you can apply on the enemy we make that about 50 as well then we have let's create one for the particles I'm gonna call that public game object or we can let's go for public particle system particle system and I'm gonna just call that muzzle flash there okay I'm gonna declare another one that I I'm going to say public that would be for audio audio source and I'll just call that explode yeah let's say explosion right there we go okay all my variables are in place now let's do this I'm not going to be using the start function I'm going to go straight into the update function inside the update function I'm going to say if input dot get dot get button down dot get button down and the button that would be let's use the built-in variable called fire one there we go that's for fire one and that calibrates if that is pressed that means fire one means if you click on the left hand button okay so in that case I want this explosion to play explosion dot play there and I also want my muzzle flash this very one I want it to play as well muzzle flash dot play there we go uh, let's make this lowercase explosion lowercase and this one lowercase as well okay so 
so we get that to play and the other thing that I want to play will be another function that I'm going to declare in here and I will call that function I might as well just call it now just say gun gunshot right that's the function that I intend to put together in here so I'm going to say void gunshot this very one here I might as well put the gunshot right above all of this. There we go. Okay, that function gunshot is right up there. So, there. I'm going to evoke the use of a Rakers. Rakers hit target. So, let's say hit target. And using an if statement, if physics dot rakers, in that case, we want the camera to get focus. So let's see, I call it camera focus. There we go. Oh look, let's change that to F. Camera focus. Grab that and I'll paste that right in here. So I'm gonna ask it to dot transform dot position. Comma. Now camera focus again. Dot transform dot forward. So let's grab all of this, paste it here, and we just say dot forward dot forward comma out, and that is going to be target comma the radius. Okay. All right. Now, the next thing is in that case, we now want to fire. So I'm going to call the short fire function, which you guys haven't seen. This is it right here. Just take it from up here. So create another script called short fired. And that is it. The amount of life enemy down the variable and up to here. This way we destroy the object. So I'm going to come in here and just call that very short fired. So this is short. It's in uppercase. Short fired. That is equals. I'm going to call that shooting. And that is going to be target dot transform dot get component and what component are we getting? That's going to be the function shot fired. And there we go. So that's taken care of. We now I'm going to use an if statement. So if shooting is not equals no, we want the following. We want shooting dot damage impact. And that's going to be the this figure, the function this figure. There we go. But if if target 
doth read it, buddy. Not equals, no. We want the following target dot rigid body. Let's take all of this and just delete target dot rigid body dot add force. And that's going to be minus target dot normal. Multiply that by damage force. There we go. Okay, that is that taken care of. Yeah, I'm going to save it first. Okay, save that on. And let's just take it from there. Let's go straight to our the editor. Let's see how that's going to work. Then I'll take it from there. All right, I'm going to grab the. Let's talk click on the gun and scroll right down here I will now drag or just drag the script and attach that to the gun right there let's come down yeah that is it now muzzle flash we need that then here explosion that is for the audio so what I'm going to do with the audio is I'm going to come up here you see where we have uh, hierarchy drop that down and we need audio source click on that all the audio source I also need some an audio in there so let's grab hold of an audio here this is it click drag and drop that's my audio there so it's called explosion and now you see the audio source created click drag and drop it right in there okay all right then uh, if i select the gun you see where i have the muzzle flash and i want to drag the audio straight into there the explosion so that is taken care of. Now the next thing we want to take care of is the it's not the muzzle flash, sorry. You see the audio? Actually grab hold of the audio, audio source and dump it inside the audio source that was created. The, as for the muzzle flash, what we want to do is I'm gonna come in here, let's right click in here and look for effects. And I'm gonna select the particle system that's the particle system that I've just selected and that particle system that's before I set it all up let's select that gun and I'm going to drag the particle system straight in there there we go all right since I've dragged that in there I actually want it to explode okay I have the muzzle flash there I'm going to need another variable there but let's get this uh, particle sorted first now let's come down here I'm going to you see the duration I'm going to make that about 0 0.5 and here the starts start lifetime let's say about one and the speed I'm going to make the speed start speed one as well so let's scroll down I think there's loop I don't I really don't want it to loop so scroll down right let's come here and see emission you see where we have bus I'm going to just add one to that and make this enter one there and what about the shape let's come down here 
I'm going to change that to rectangle and just scale I'm going to make it 0 by 0 by 0 to give it one direction motion okay so let's see what else do I want do I want light on it if I add light here yeah, let's right click and see that's light point light yeah there's point light there so I might as well just select the light underneath here where's light okay this point light there let's look for any type here point light all right okay for now that's what we do for those settings I now need that very particle to be directly paced or placed where the gun is so let's grab hold of the gun is somewhere here I'm gonna need some effect on it yeah that is the light so I need the location of the gun then we just place everything near to it yeah that's the gun move both of them to the nozzle of the gun or to the barrel whatever it's called okay I'm going to try out this this gun here yeah and let's click on play that is a bit too slow let's go back into start speed I'm gonna make that about 30 now click on that there we go yeah I like that okay I'm gonna leave it as that let's move it up a little bit okay so that one is sorted now I'm gonna go straight into my codes let's select that that's the code here and inside here I'm going to declare the following variables so that is going to be particle effect so that's going to be a game object particle effect so let's say uh, public come right down here let's say public game object yeah and I'll just call it particle effect there and come right down here this particle effect we now need to add it right inside the gunshot so underneath here using as a game object game object that will be we just call that clear object and that's going to be equals instantiate and what is that particle effect comma target dot point comma quotidian quotidian dot look rotation look rotation and that takes in parentheses so that's going to be target dot normal there we go now come right down here and I'm going to then say destroy objects so let's say destroy 
clear object. This one. Grab all of that. Paste that in here. Comma two F. There we go. Now save that and let's see. Okay. I'm gonna come up here. Let's make sure the there is no error here save that let's go back into our yeah it's compiling that's good almost there okay we have an error i think wrong spelling of a uh, quotidian let's come in here and just that should have been io right all right let's save that save minimize start all over okay and right here now we now need to assign some value here uh first of all let's see you see where we have camera focus i'm going to grab hold of the camera dump it right there and here effects i need some effect i'm going to go straight into windows let's go to package manager I can grab whole of uh, yeah this 48 effects I'm gonna import that I see okay my system was playing let's try that again package manager and that's it 48 import right it's only 1.37 megabytes so that shouldn't take that long and click on import again there we go it's coming up now okay uh, and we also need to import the all sky all sky free that's it right there I've already imported that okay and if you want you can also import whatever you want let's look for rock yeah let's see if i can get hold of rock i think this is it here free rock it's about 100 plus okay i'm going to have to import that as well okay guys um now the rocks so just make sure we go into the prefab in there and we just need to add some rocks in there Okay, just maybe one here and just increase the size to about maybe five by seven by six something like that all right you can just pray the rock how you want it now that that is done one other thing is you see all these humanoid that you're looking at Let's go straight into the prefer because they will not even if you shoot them down they will not fall nothing will happen because we were supposed to add capsule collider so I'm going to select this prefab and let's go into add components here and grab hold of if I double click on it so that I can just does it in there so in there we need capsule collider there we go there and you see edit collider click on that and just drag it to cover it all up see we need to cover the whole body else if we hit it with a gun or anything nothing will happen okay so i'm going to repeat the same thing for the other one that's for the dead the dead man okay now let's look for the other one firing rifle so that's a prefab for that as well double click on that and add a capsule collider edit it that is it there it's not showing that much let's use it to cover it else right there that's it 
so that is fine let's go back into our main project now what is is left select the gun itself and make sure we add our effects let's come in here inside this very effect there's a script there that you guys should delete it's called CC show all effect I've, I've already deleted it in here so the effect that I want make sure the gun is selected I'm just going to drag one of those I think I've added one before but I'm going to drag one in there the one I added is fireball I'm going to drag any other one in there for you guys to see let's go for explosion maybe explosion 9 there just dump it in there just like that okay now I'm going to kind of like save it let's try it around let's try it and see how that looks like so click on run let's see okay yeah you see it's taking that down that's one of them on the floor okay Okay, one thing is if you guys the the sound actually played on awake so we don't want that I'm going to come back in here and let's select audio this audio source and let's scroll right down you see where we have play on awake get rid of that that shouldn't happen now I'm gonna make sure that that is saved run and let's say so I should be able to blow them all up now no sound see there one is down there's one escaping there's another one here go after him guys, and that is how you create your own FPS controller in Unity using asset and Skybox and so on. Yeah, talking about Skybox, we need to change this our Skybox. So stop that from running. Let's come right in here. Go straight to Windows and I'm going to select rendering. Lighting, come right in here. Environment, select environment, then select this. I come and I'm gonna select one of these maybe I should set two for this here yeah, that's good enough for me yeah that's fine and that should take care of my skybox look at that beautiful so let's run and see how that looks like Ooh, that is the explosion it's just too much for me so if you guys want you can always reduce your own explosion or the the effect now you see how that works so with that i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial you can see one of the enemies is down and i believe the rest are down as well so i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial and you all have a nice day now i'm bye for now and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel you all have a nice day now. Bye.